Senator Fuller, you also have, I believe, an additional... Uh, yes, I was just going to give Senator uh, Allen a moment to add on, but he said he'll add on a little bit or whatever. <laughs> Senator Allen, do you wish to talk on this item? My apologies. Please feel free. All right. Okay, next. Fuller. For purposes of introduction and to adjourn in memory, I'd like to ask my guests to step to the front. Without objection. We have a special in memoriam for our family today, but I'd just like to spend a minute to let you know a little bit about some very, very special uh, people. Joining me today on the floor to memorialize the life of Major Robert K. Price is his devoted wife, Katie, and his daughters, Roberta and Carol, along with the husbands, Wiley and Steve, and one of two grandchildren, Alyssa. Robert was born on March 5, 1921, in Lynn, Indiana, from his parents' farm. He lost his battle with stage four melanoma on January 28th with his wife of 70 years and their two daughters by Katie's side. Robert enlisted in the U.S. Army Air Force in July 18, 1942. He went on to graduate officer candidate school and was commissioned as a second lieutenant aviation ordnance officer. He arrived on the island of Iwo Jima in April of 1945 as a first lieutenant and was promoted to captain by July 1945. While on Iwo Jima, he strapped a gun camera onto his Jeep and filmed activities during the occupation. The film was converted to DVD and accepted into the Library of Congress to be in remembered by generations to come. Following his World War II service, he continued to serve during the Korean War and was assigned to Okinawa as a company commander. And his first, what, his first home with Katie was in Okinawa. They have some really great pictures of that time. He was promoted to a major in 1953, and throughout the remainder of his career, he was stationed in Germany and Alabama, and finally Fort Bliss in Texas, where he retired in 1963 after 20 years of service. His wartime medals included the American Campaign Medal, the Asian Pacific Campaign with Two Star Services, the World War II Victory Medal, and the Army of Occupation Japan Medal. Robert and his family moved to San Diego, where he worked for the city of El Cajon Public Works Department and retired after another 20 years on the job. While Mr. Price was not my constituent, I want to thank the Senator from San Diego, Senator Anderson, for allow the Senator from San Diego for allowing me to do so. His daughter, Roberta, has been my dear and precious friend. We've been in education for 30 years together. We started as teachers and we ended as superintendents, and she even came on my campaign to help me start my next career with all of you. It's a wonderful family, the years of service, getting to know Bob, hearing his stories through the years, seeing all the pictures, was an amazing experience for me. He was a truly American hero. Roberta's heart and dedication and passion for life was almost certainly given to her by her parents, and it is my honor to recognize her father today, and I thank you all for joining me to honor her. And I'd like to welcome them and just say that we're all paying our respects to a man who was humble and great and one of the greatest generations and whose stories reminded me of what an American can and should be. And so we'll be presenting you each with a memoriam. And thank you very, very much for being a military family who served a wonderful, wonderful father. Thank you. Thank you very much, Senator Fuller. Thank you to the family of Robert T. Price. Thank you for being here, and our condolences to you and the family.